Hey, yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Derek Branch here of uh, Strike7Sports.com, uh, Saint Discussions section. I just want to talk about some uh, few uh, news and notes that went down today with the uh, New Orleans Saints, and that's concerning um, defensive tackle David Angimata. He was able, the Saints were able to, um, they were able to get together and um, restructure his deal that was that that has created four point three four million dollars in cap space, according to uh, Ian Rappaport, NFL Network insider, and um, excuse me, and, uh, they resigned JT Gray, special team for safety, to a uh, new deal worth uh, two years, four million dollars. So that's some uh, good news to hear, you know. Um, Hopefully this will, um, we probably won't, but just ship people up about how the Saints can't do nothing because of the salary cap and all. And people just overthinking it, you know what I'm saying? They're just overthinking, you know, how this team operates and what they can do with the salary cap. You know, people still don't understand. He's still people. I saw a tweet yesterday from uh, ESPN Milwaukee um, station uh, tweet. Talking about how uh, it's going to be like Thanos clicking his fingers and then the Saints going to be a whole different football team next year. I'm like, why are you worrying about, you can ESPN Milwaukee, you need to be worrying about reporting on Aaron Rodgers being disappointed because they don't have any help in Green Bay with the, um, with his, uh, his football team. <coughs> but people don't understand, man. I just, I just like seeing people get on. Um, People, other fans, other analysts from uh, different uh, stations be, did a different uh, outlets be outraged at how the Saints are able to uh, manipulate the cap, you know, do things, you know, put dumb years on contracts, or push can push the can down the road, have guys to get with guys and have them restructure their deals, uh, still and still be able to pick up uh, quality pay, quality uh, players. So there's still there's gonna be some guys, you know. We're gonna, it's like around next week, probably. You're gonna start hearing the guys getting um cut. There's gonna be some guys that basically be paying for a little, you know, like man, we we wish could we wish we could have uh you'll be like we wish I wish they could have kept that guy, but they probably they just, you know, can't afford it. But there will be guys that the Saints will lose, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who it is gonna be, but um it's coming, you know. Um the new year, new new league year is coming up, and um, the, the free agency period is about to start, which is on March seventeenth. Um, there was some uh, talk yesterday about uh, Malcolm Malcolm Brown probably being uh, on the trade block coming up soon. Um, the team they're looking for a, a suitor that will probably take him. Um, hopefully, they can get some uh, in fair. Compensation for him. I'm thinking about uh, um, hopefully be a hopefully uh, hopefully it can be a fourth round pick, fifth round pick. Um, it'd be great if it could be a third. You get a third from Malcolm Brown. That's a haul right there. That's a steal, you know. But um, we'll see how it goes, man. That's um the latest on that. Uh, Malcolm Brown on the trade could possibly be on the trading block. It'd be on uh, coming to some type of uh restructure with his deal. Um. JT Gray resigned for uh, two years for at four million. David Angamata they restructured his deal, creates a uh, four point three four million in cap space for the Saints. So that's some um, room right there to do some things. Um, hopefully they can get um they can resign uh Marcus uh, Marcus Williams to a new deal. Uh, the reports are that uh, he's become a priority for the Saints to resign uh, for free agency this year. So we'll see how it goes, man. But anyway, man, that's all I want. That's all I have for you for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. Um, what are you? What what are, what, um, what do you think the Saints could be able to be able to uh, get with from um for uh, trading of uh, Malcolm Brown and um the signing of J T. Gray? Do you, what do you, what are your thoughts on that? Good move. Um, was it you thought they should have let him go? Uh, you know, what's your thoughts on it? That's a lot for you for right now. Have a blessed day. Peace.